Hi, Flappy Catters. I wanted to introduce you to Innovative Pet Lab. They do multiple different tests that you can do on your cat or dog's stool. They have more for dogs right now than they do for cats, but these are the two that I have for, their, for cats. One is inflammation and immunity, and the other one is leaky gut. So let's look inside. Inside, you're going to find a welcome with a scanner. You can also buy these sometimes at your veterinarian's office, and so that might be why there's a scanner in there. First step is to register the kit. Then you're going to collect a fresh stool sample, and they have, they, they send this whole bag to you, which has a poop bag, some gloves, and then the, the stick for collection, as well as the container to put it in the collection tube. And then it walks you through that, and then I'm gonna mail it back. In all my excitement, I got both of the kits mixed up, and so I just wanted to show you how that works. So I registered online, and this 5465 told me that it was the leaky gut kit. And then looks like on the side of this tube, it is also 5465. And the reason that I got so excited is because when you have two cats, it's really hard to catch them pooping and then to make sure that it's that cat's poop. So I've been waiting for like a week to catch Charlie pooping, and I finally did. So. I Got super excited, ran and got my kids, and anyway, um, that's just a, a quick way to know which one you have. What you could also do is just write leaky gut on the tube that you pulled it out of the box if you wanted. I mean, not on any of their writing, but on the plastic, I'm sure is fine. So then I've also added Charlie's information on the tube as well. All right, the next step is you, you want to make sure these are tightly sealed. Then you're going to put it in the biohazard bag. You roll up the biohazard bag, put it back in the box that it was shipped in. And then they send you one of these envelopes that you put it back in. And then they send you a, or they, they include a shipping label that you just put on top of it all. And so it's all ready to go now. And you can see those steps right here. So the sample in the bag and then put it in the box and put the box in the envelope and then put the label on the envelope and then you'll be notified within 10 to 14 days. Here's the back end of the Innovative Pet Lab. First, you're going to register your cats, their date of birth. Um, and this was kind of interesting. They ask what your litter type is, which is different than I have experienced with like animal biome. And then if they're neutered and then what their, their diet is. And I can't tell you how proud I am to click raw. Okay, so then, I can register a kit here, so that's what we'll start doing. So first you select your pet, so I just picked up Charlie's poop, and then I'm gonna enter the unique ID that was inside the kit. Okay, I've done that, verify unique ID. Okay, that worked, continue. All right, so then I just hit registered kit, and that's the leaky gut kit for Charlie. Okay, and here's the second one continue and that's the inflammation and immunity and so now you can see that I have both of those for Charlie interesting that it's not technically his birthday yet his birthday is in two days but they already have him as a 14 year old male our results are in from the innovative pet labs that we sent in uh, once you've logged into your account you go to my results and then it opens up all of this and you'll see that we did the leaky gut for Charlie, inflammation and immunity for Charlie, and also the same two tests for Trig. So then you just click on show report and you'll see that Charlie's leaky gut was normal and his, I'm not, IgA, I'm not gonna be able to say that was also normal. Close that out, same with everything was normal for the inflammation and immunity with Charlie. And then leaky gut for Trig, was all normal as well. And lastly, his inflammation and immunity was also all normal, which is great. Um, then they have this option where it says explain results and then it opens up into a more, you know, definition of what you might have found on your test results, for example. Another way to see the results or explain further is there's this like little eye icon here that drops and expands it more so that you can read about 
what each thing means. So if you do have a high or low result and it's not normal, then you can look more into food sensitivities, skin issues, chronic inflammation, that sort of thing. Now, Charlie and Trick also had blood work done to test some of these levels. So I guess there's different levels. There's like there's a level that's in your gut for inflammation and immunity, and then there's also a level in your blood. So if you're having these kind of problems, obviously I did this all through a veterinarian and you probably want to too, but you can also do the, this independently and then give the results to your vet. But I worked with a veterinarian to get this done and then she also got their blood work done. So that's how I know that, that the low, there are two ways to test it. It was through poop and also through blood. All right, guys, that wraps up our review for the Innovative Pet Lab, basically how it's done. Here, Charlie and Trig in there, and then your test will be under the, the test tab. Let me know what questions or concerns that you have that I can address. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Oh, and there's going to be a link in the about section below where you can buy their test and check it out for yourself. Thanks. We'll see you next time.